Hello, I'm Austin Wilson, Co-Portfolio Manager at Hicks & Zerker Capital Management. I'm Chase Rose, Associate Wealth Advisor here at Hicks & Zerker Capital Management. We are here, We're here to give you a monthly market and economic update for the month of March, looking forward into April. Probably the best one you'll see all month. Probably, I'm yeah, I mean, and I know everyone looks forward to this. It's the best part of everyone's <laughs> month. So, it's the best part of my month. We're going to start with the markets, as we always start with the markets. So March wrapped up a pretty dang good quarter. So as we recall, 2023 was a good year. 2024 has gotten off to a really good start. In the month of March, the S&P 500 was up another 2.28%. The Dow, 1.84%. NASDAQ, 0.64%. Small caps, pretty much leading the way in the U.S., up 2.32%. Developed international stocks, 2.46%. Emerging market stocks, up 1.81%. Bonds, up 0.53%. So, pretty good month, adding to what has already become a pretty good first quarter. Up across the board. Up awesome. across the board. Now, in more relevant news. More relevant news than the markets. More relevant news, yes. So, last month in, in February, we mentioned that Bitcoin had reached an all-time high in market cap. True. But it wasn't until March 5th, to be precise, that the price of Bitcoin reached an all-time high. Uh, and, you know, it's a f finally reaching that all-time high uh, after the crypto winter that it went through. It was a cold winter. winter. It was a very cold winter. Winter is coming. This is the old saying. Yes. I don't know if you know where yes. that's from, but... Um, Game of yeah, it could... Good call. I'm proud, you, proud of you on that. Yeah. So primarily driving the demand as of recent, obviously, as we mentioned a few months back, news that broke right here on Hicks and Zerker's monthly. It was here video. first. Uh, the new Bitcoin spot ETFs that are available at everywhere. basically everywhere. Um, and the expectation was that it would have about 10 billion in market cap by the end of 2024. Through three months in 2024, 53.7 billion. So it's not ETFs, double. more than more than double the pentiple. Expected, yeah. More than pentiple. Oh, more than three three to fifty something. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. So uh, spot ETFs are definitely driving uh, demand for Bitcoin up, and even you know crypto remains hot despite recent headlines that Sam Bankman Sam Bankman Freed, the, SBF. Uh, yeah, the SBF guy, um, founder of FTX, famous crypto fraud scheme back in twenty twenty two. He was sentenced to twenty five years in prison for stealing. A little over $10 million of money, so. It's a lot of money. Yeah, but cryptocurrencies still remain hot. They do remain hot. In more relevant news. It is in more relevant news. So, in other news, uh, the U.S., the House of Representatives, they passed a bill with potential consequences for TikTok and its parent, com parent company, ByteDance, Chinese company. So, now the attention is really going to go to the Senate and then ultimately President Biden on what's going to happen regarding this. But... If the bill passes, Buy to Dance will have six months to sell U.S. operations of TikTok to really an American company or face removal from uh, from app stores. And uh, as we know, TikTok is extremely popular, mostly with the Gen Z and younger. It's like the just, social media of the world. Call me out. I was just going. I wasn't going to say Chase Rose and younger, but yeah, Chase is a TikToker. He's Tiki. I'm actually not a TikToker. You're not. You no. should be. No, but ironically, I did learn this news on TikTok. You so. <laughs> they're really like saying, "Ah, oh, uh, protest this now." Oh, they're probably. dancing and complaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> it's typical young people do. So. so yeah, TikTok has 170 million U.S. users. 170 million users. That users. That's like half the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, so. Obviously, investors are watching this closely. TikTok's not publicly traded, but if the operations would get sold off to a U.S. company, to a US company it would probably be one of our larger publicly traded U.S. companies. Um, so yeah, all eyes are on the Senate right now. Yeah. It'd be a, quite a way to get young people into the stock market is investing in TikTok. It could. It's it good. could. I mean, think about what Meta stock, or we used to be Facebook stock, has done <clears> over <throat> the past 10, 11 years since it went public. It's been great. It's been great. And this is the next generation of social media. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Jeff Bezos, Jeff in the month Bezos, of March, surpassed Elon Musk as the wealthiest person in the world. Uh, this is primarily driven by Tesla's falling stock price, which obviously Elon Musk has a lot of that. A lot. A lot of it. Um, but also, Bezos has been selling off a lot of Amazon stock. And a lot is obviously a relative term because he can sell billions of dollars worth of Amazon stock and it would you know, really not do anything. Correct. But despite he has been selling off Amazon stock, uh, increasing his net worth, and one of the biggest drivers behind 
his increasing net worth as of recent is his investment to the startup company that's helping Oscar Mayer make a new vegan hot dog. What's the house of the Oscar Mayer? O S C A R. My baloney has a first name. <laughs> My baloney has a first name. It's O S C A R. My baloney has a second name. It's I've M- never heard the name before. M A M E Y E R. I've never heard that name before. Oh come on! But I'm a fan now. You are. I might well, have to make a TikTok. You won't be a fan <laughs> when you finish the story. Yeah. Well, that that is the story. They're debuting a new meatless hot dog. That that's really what I wanted to get. You to. lost me at meatless hot dog. Forget. <laughs> forget. Elon Musk, forget Jeff Bezos. Oscar Mayer has a new meatless hot dog. Try it at your own risk. I can. <laughs> Something about meatless meat just really freaks me out. I know, right? Well, where does that meat kind of come? That's from? like air without the oxygen in yeah, it. Ah oh, man, it's not my thing. <laughs> it doesn't keep you alive, does it? No, it doesn't. Uh, number three, the Fed. We always talk about the Fed. I sure do. The Fed once again left rates <clears throat> on pause in March. This was expected. What wasn't expected was the tone. Uh, uh, specifically from Fed Chair Jerome Powell, as he pretty much said, yes, obviously, we're not going to be hiking interest rates anymore, um, but being a bit more dovish in his approach to things, saying we might not even have to wait until the labor market falls apart to be starting to cut rates, and uh, the market and the Fed are very closely aligned at around expected three rate cuts between now and the end of the year, mostly in the second half of the year. Um, So, you know, those two areas of the market have aligned, we're going to get a cut. You're not going to get any more hikes. The markets have been enjoying this uh, less hawkishness. Things are getting less aggressive in terms of the tightening. And we could get back to a more normal interest rate environment here before too long. So Is that, that was pretty good. Uh, the new normal, we could new say. Normal? Yeah, there's always a new normal. <laughs> the environment is always different, but what's normal is relative. Mm, sure, exactly. You know, there's been a lot of madness around the, the Federal Reserve over the last couple of years. Oh, I know where you're going with this. Yeah, I know where I'm going I know with exactly this. where you're going with this. We're in April, right? So that means March Madness is behind us, right? You so would think. the March Madness tournaments obviously are not yet wrapped up, but a lot of the madness comes in the first few rounds, which is really where the fun. The bracket busters, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, with March Madness behind us, there's four teams left in each of the men's and women's uh, NCAA tournament brackets for basketball. Two schools, actually, actually interesting enough, uh, NC State and Connecticut. Uh, made the final four in both men's I know, and women's basketball. Yeah, they are thriving right now. Yeah. So in the men's side, uh, the defending champs, Connecticut, will face Alabama in the final four, and Purdue will challenge America's team, as they've been put it. The it's Dallas insane. Cowboys. Oh, <laughs> that is <laughs> America's State. team. No, well, I mean, <laughs> depends on who you ask. Right. So Purdue will challenge NC State. The yeah. winners facing off in the, tr- the championship, and then on the women's side, South Carolina facing NC State. And then UConn will face Iowa. And as of, March, as of March, all-time leading scorer in college basketball history, men's and women's, Caitlin Clark. So, and I actually have a fun There's fact. a caveat about that, though. Uh, well, she has a three-point line, but still. No, 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 no. The caveat is that, yes, she is on record in the NCAA, the men's and women's mm-hmm. leading all-time scorer. But before the NCAA like incorporated women's basketball, there was actually another lady who I heard about scored more points before it was the NCAA. Sure, but still, yeah, that's it's ridiculous. Anyway, I, I I saw something about that. I didn't read into it, but uh, I you know we only speak facts here. So. Well, only fact, proof of facts. <laughs> uh, and actually, I I do have another interesting note. There still is one undefeated bracket left, and it happens to be Austin's because it is, he never made it. <laughs> it is undefeated. I have zero L's, I think is what the Gen Z said. It's really impressive. Zero L's. You're, yeah, you're a few years late, but it works. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> it works. I'm, uh, that's, how, that's how us millennials pick up on the new stuff. It's a few years late before, once it's already not being used. Uh, number four, on March 26th, the Francis Scott Key Bridge outside Baltimore, Maryland, was run into by a large cargo ship. The ship reportedly lost power, drifted into a support structure that took down most of the bridge, and the collapse is ultimately going to cause months of disruptions and billions in damage. Um, It's going to actually also block the export of as much as two and a half million tons of coal, and ultimately lead to more ship traffic going to other areas of the East Coast and the West Coast to avoid going through Baltimore, obviously. So, uh, unfortunately, search operations did not find six people, so there were six assumed casualties at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was the videos that I've seen on that thing coming down, not good. Not good at all, no. Um, that was a real downer. I know, and I have another story that's pretty depressing. Um, Your bracket. 
<laughs> Good one. Yeah, actually, he's not wrong. Um, but my next news story is unfortunately, uh, you know, it's not the most positive news. Um, but demand for chocolate across the world has gone sky high, sky high. and the supply has really, um, really decreased as of recent. So, uh, you know, chocolate prices are expected to rise. There's really only a few places in the world where you can really efficiently grow cocoa, really? which cocoa is obviously the primary ingredient in chocolate making. Uh, and those places, mostly in West Africa, have suffered through uh, periods of bad weather, bean disease, which I didn't oh, know was a thing. Bean disease. bean disease, I hate it when that happens. I know. Uh, and then obviously, well, not obviously, but they just haven't been planting new trees, you know, with, you know, <laughs> obviously you have a farm, you want to plant plants, they have not been planting new trees. And so, the cocoa, cocoa shortage. Cocoa shortage. Uh, so if you have chocolate, I would keep your chocolate close. Maybe keep it's like an freeze invest, it. It's an, uh, it's an investment opportunity. Chocolate, cocoa itself is up 250 If you find a sale, you could flip cocoa. You sure could. You could buy and sell chocolate. Like You could make that a side gig, a legitimate side gig. It might not last forever. Right. I don't know how legitimate it would be. I think it would be <laughs> legitimate. But nonetheless, it's obviously a very disappointing story. Chocolate prices are going up, so go get your chocolate white can. Get it while you can. Like, in some other sweet news, <laughs> see what I did it there. We're just bridging. Bridging. We're just bridging for each other at this point. We did talk about it. Yeah. Wow. Krispy Kreme experienced its largest stock surge yet, which I'm going to call a sugar rush. <laughs> <laughs> After they reached an agreement with McDonald's to distribute its donuts through McDonald's restaurants across the United States. This partnership is going to bolster McDonald's all-day breakfast and all-day snack offerings. Initially, it's only going to be available at select locations later this year, but it will gradually be rolled out nationwide by the end of 2026. Krispy Kreme shares on the day this was announced were up 39%. Wow. So that's crazy, which was their most significant one-day increase since the company IPO'd in 2021. You should have already been invested in Krispy Kreme. Obviously. I know, obviously. Donuts are... Have you ever had... This is not investment advice. This is not investment advice. Have you ever had a hot Krispy Kreme donut? Absolutely. So like, hey, you, you go by and you off, see the... Fresh off the belt? Yeah, you see the... You go by and you see the light on or whatever, and you can go through the drive-thru and get a free hot yeah. donut. A hot Krispy Kreme donut actually melts in your mouth. <laughs> I so can awesome. eat 20 of them. You need to stop food. talking. <laughs> There's a Duck Dynasty episode talking all about hot donuts, and I get it. Yes, I just talked about Duck Dynasty. Is that a thing anymore? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, man. Good times. He's, he's a few years late. Oh, just about everything. Good times. <laughs> so. so, yeah, that was a pretty sweet story. Yeah, it, it sure was. Yeah. Uh, and my for my last news story, for our last news story, the Florida news story of Ooh, the month. Florida news story of the month. Yeah, yeah, it's a real thing. So, this is actually news that a lot of people have really been waiting for. Yeah. Uh, Ron DeSantis being the governor of Florida. Uh, has really been putting off this bill for some time, but it's finally gotten it done. It's here. It is here. As a Floridian, either a visitor or a resident yourself, you are now allowed to buy wine bottles as large as four gallons large. So, or if you find yourself in Florida and you really are craving some wine, you can now buy a super. I mean, think about the Costco's in Florida. Like oh, every Costco oh, location you go to is going to be. There are the bulk, bulk, but bulk centers of the world, right? Yeah, for sure. You're going to be selling four gallon bottles of. <laughs> Rosé and all kinds of stuff. That is a lot of wine. It's really adding a new meaning to the, the wine night. Well, it's really putting it's really putting box wine out of business. That is a good point. Yeah. No need for boxes anymore. I get a four gallon jug. Yeah. I'm, not <laughs> I, I'm convinced at this point in my life, knowing Austin for as long as I have, he can make he can take any story and bring Costco into it somehow. Always. 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 So, I'm a Costco yeah. fanatic. Go get yourself a four gallon bottle. Of and a share of Costco stock, not a recommendation. <laughs> not a recommendation, <laughs> but do it. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for being here. Thanks for listening this month. And as we said, Austin Chase with Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. Uh, please remember, nothing we talked about, as we just also said, <laughs> is a recommendation. But if you have any questions about your financial situation, give us a call at 419-425-2400 or email us at hello at hgcapital.com. And until next month, have a good one. Take Bye. Care.